Hello there, and welcome to video seven of the Algo School for Traders. This is to help uh, people that are looking to get break into algorithmic trading to write their own algorithms, really. Even though we provide the service ourselves, we're giving away this, uh, this knowledge for free. Okay, so if you want to find out more about it, you just go to our website, clickalgo.com, go under Education, Algo Algorithmic Trading School, and down here we've got various videos actually showing you um, an overview of the Cialgo trading platform that goes with CTrader shows you an overview of Visual Studio 2015 uh, which is a development environment for what we're going to use Microsoft C Sharp shows you coding standards um, how to write a risk management uh, robot and a code overview of it and uh, debugging using Visual Studio 2015 which is very useful and also um, we the last one we did was how to create um, a simple moving average strategy okay to buy and sell um, tr uh, open and close positions, whatever. So, what we're doing now on number seven is to show you how to add a trailing stop. So, this will be, this will, you can use this for any of your algorithms. So, this is going to show you with C Trader or C Algo how to add a trailing stop to your existing um, C bots, okay? So, what I'm going to do is open up uh, C Algo, which we've already got it open up here. This is the existing code for the simple moving average project. Um, you'll see that in the previous videos or on that page it actually gives you a link to download this um, this CBOT file to install onto Cialgo. So you can actually access this from the web page to get you started really. So what I'm going to do to edit this in Visual Studio you would have just right clicked and gone edit in Visual Studio. Uh, we have it open already. So here it is. This is the project. Click Algo School SMA. This is the solution uh, folder. It's a single class. This file here. Uh, there's comments at the top telling you all about the actual project. The first thing you'll see is your user-defined parameters. Now, the actual, if you've not seen these videos before, then and you're not familiar with programming, especially with C Sharp, then you may want to go to the start and look at video one and work your way through, okay? This video now is for people that have already done that, and they're on to video six, uh, seven, and they just want to know how to add a trailing stop, okay? So this is the code here. So the idea is, with software development, um, it's all about reuse. It's like if you were building a car, you have parts of that car that are pre-built and you just grab that part and you weld it together or you plug it in if it's electrical, okay? The same thing with software development. You don't keep rewriting the code. You have what's known as libraries of code or shelfware. So you have components, you just bolt together. You just glue this code together so that your speed to actually, again, if you write the code once and you know it's perfect and it works, you just add it. There's none of this, you don't have to do debugging afterwards as much and uh, your development speed is so much faster. It's a matter of minutes if you want to add a train and stop, okay? So with C Trader, they do have a feature called snippets. Now snippets allows you to um, insert snippets of code into the existing block, okay? But I'm not going to show you that today. You, could, you do insert snippet here. You, you use a snippet manager. Uh, we do have another blog, blog that explains about that. But I'm just going to show you a very basic way of doing it, especially if you're only using um, C algo for editing your code if you're just using this for editing your code and not visual studio so you know if you don't have visual studio installed so what i'm going to do i'm just going to do the demonstration with uh, visual studio anyway i'm going to show you how you'd actually go about that so what you would do you'd create a folder somewhere on your hard drive and you just call it uh, algo call, algo school code snippets that's where i'm putting this one and i've got in here a text file which is the code that i'm going to insert into any of my algorithms to add a trailing stop okay now if you open it You've got a section here. Ooh, I've got to drag it over onto the other screen. If I open this, I've got a section here at the top, which is my parameters. So this section goes into your parameters. This section goes onto either your on tick or on bar. And this bottom section, you put anywhere in your uh, code, anywhere in the class. Uh, you can create a region called um, position management, whatever you want to do. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the parameters, parameters to the existing uh, project. So I'm going to highlight those, that one there, I'm going to control C it, and then I'm going to add it to the bottom of this list. If I do control V, there's the parameters there. If I now, how do I move that? If I now just go and save that, I have to do that because I've got something in the way. If I just save that now and I go back to my uh, Cialgo, if I just save that, and it's saved. If I, if I click on here now, you can see the parameters being added, okay? There's three parameters. 
whether you want to include trailing stop, yes or no. That's a good feature to have because you might not want to use a trailing stop. Um, trailing stop trigger, so in, in other words is you can trigger the trailing stop when it gains 10 pips and you can step behind the price 3 pips. So it'll tra it's a trailing stop. So as the, I mean, if you, obviously we'll explain it later how to do it, but as the uh, price increases, the, the, the tra it trails behind that price 3 pips. But if it reverses, you're going to lose 3 pips. So it's a way of gaining, you know, if you knew that it, the strength of the trend is going to go in a certain direction, you keep locking in your profits until the price reverses your step and then locks you out and closes your position and then you close in profit. Okay, that's just a basic, this is just a, a one way of implementing a trading stop. There's many ways of doing it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go back to um, the text file. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the section of code that you're going to put that will actually call a method to actually manage the trailing stop. So I'm going to control C that. Um, and this time I'm not going to go into Visual Studio, I'm just going to edit it from inside here. Okay, so what you've got in Visual Studio, as we've explained in the previous videos, you've got on tick and on bar. Okay. On tick is called every price change. So every time there's a change in the price, this method gets called. At the close of every bar, this method gets called. If it's one hour, this only gets called one hour. If you're managing a trailing stop, um, you'd want to manage it during a candle formation. So you'd want to do it on tick, really, okay? So we want to do it here and on bar. Because we've got something there that says managing positions. We want to go to that. Um, I'm not going to put it in there. I'm going to make it a bit cleaner. I'm just going to put it at the bottom of managing positions because that's for managing opening positions. I'm just going to paste it in there. And straight away you see it's pasted it in a bit messy, okay? If you highlight it and you do control K and control F, oh, it doesn't do it. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work in, uh, it doesn't work in, um, what do you call it? In this editor. Oh, it does it autom automatically. If you build it, does it. But if you're in, if you're in Visual Studio, it would actually done it for you, okay? Okay, I didn't know that. So in um, Cialgo, if you click the Save button, it will actually auto-format the code. But if you do Control k Control f in Visual Studio, it'll do it for you, okay? So now it's complaining, saying that the, uh, this method set trailing stop doesn't exist, okay? We haven't added it yet. So I'm going to go back to the code again. Now I want to add this. I'm going to add the comments as well. You can see it's unformatted. So now I'm going to go... Now I'm going to put it in a section... So you can, you've got regions here, but in Visual Studio, I'm going to go back to Visual Studio just to show you. And then I'm going to reload it. This is showing you that you can switch between Cialgo and Visual Studio and just keep editing the same file. So on here, it's, it shows you it doesn't exist, that method, okay? Now what I've got here is a thing called regions. It's explained in the previous um, videos. So under position management, I'm going to put this code. I'm going to put it under closed position, okay? I'm going to pay control V and paste it in. It's already formatted it actually. So in here it's asking for bot name. Okay. So this whole idea, actually I didn't think of this when I started this video, so it's actually good that this has come up. What bot name is, it's your instance name. I'm going to quickly show you this. I think I explained it in previous videos. Um, so it's actually the instance name of this instance here. Uh, we've called it instance name here. Okay. It, I did explain it in a previous video, so if you go and have a look at it, it means that you can have a trailing stop that will manage only positions that relate to this instance of the robot. And for that, um, oh, back up incomplete. And for that um, symbol, so you can change the instance name so it will only manage those, okay? It's a way of allowing the robot to only manage trailing stops for a particular robot instance, okay? If you don't know what a robot instance is, it's explained in the previous videos. So I'm going back to the code again. I'll go back to Visual Studio. We've called it instance name, so I'm going to change this. So with Visual Studio, it comes up with uh, the value already there. Okay, so now, okay, I can't really save this because I've got my recorder thing stuck in the middle at the top. So what I'm going to do is go back to, I have to minimize the screen again and save it and just go back to CTDN. Now, if I'm confusing you by switching between Visual Studio and um, the editor that's in Cialgo, just let me know, leave a comment and just say, you know, it's best to stick with one or the other. Or if you prefer Visual Studio, just tell me if you prefer Visual Studio, okay? Because I'm not sure how many people are actually using Visual Studio and how many people are actually just editing the code with this editor in here. So now if I look at the code, we've now got uh, set trailing stop, okay? That's it, that's all you need to do to set a trailing stop. So I just recap, you um, have a common folder where you put your snippets, 
uh, just show you there you have a common folder where you put your snippets of code it could be trailing stop it could be break even it could be anything you want any any kind of reusable code you want to keep reusing in your uh, in your algorithms put it in a in a folder there then all you do is you um, copy sections of that code and paste it where it's required on your algorithm in this case we did the parameters okay uh, we did a method to actually call the main bit of logic that manages the trailing stop so we've put it on here um, and I think this logic actually already says uh, calculate on bar so this this particular uh, strategy will actually calculate the signals on bar or on tick okay but because you're you really want to manage the trailing stop every time there's a price change you do want it on tick so we're going to leave it there on tick it doesn't need to be an on bar so on the on tick um, it will actually say are we going to include a trailing stop yes it will call this method and then it will manage your long and short positions it will manage the trailing stops and so that's it it's just copy and paste a lot of coding is just copy and paste okay so hopefully that's helped you um, with your algorithmic trading and given you some ideas how to move forward if you want a, um, a better way of doing code snippets then in Visual Studio this there are some extensions you can use code snippet manager and with the code snippet manager you'd pretty much just put your cursor on the screen you'd right click you put insert snippets then you can select any one of these snippets here so I'm gonna put um, I don't know I'm gonna put dynamic take profit there you go it's automatically put a dynamic take profit chunk of code in there to do that piece of logic so the more reusable libraries you create the faster and easier it is for you to develop software you don't have to rewrite it it's literally just copy paste copy paste and then glue them together with any custom logic that you've got all right i hope you found this video useful